Penny Fisher is trapped in a nightmare predicament. I used to have a lovely job, a family, my dog, a house by the sea, and basically everything that I needed. And now I'm homeless, I'm unemployed, and I can't be with my children, and I'm not even allowed to live in Australia anymore. And I literally have nothing. Now she finds herself unwanted by the UK where she was born and raised and in Australia where she migrated with high hopes of a new life with a husband and two boys in 2007. I've nothing left to sell. My whole life is in a suitcase. You know, it's ridiculous. You go from a three-bedroom house to literally a suitcase. At my age, I would have thought I'd be settled. Penny's dilemma unfolded last year when she was dumped by a husband who was working here under the sponsored visa program. From the point that he left, it's just gone from really bad to really, really bad. So bad that the immigration department ruled once Penny had separated, she wasn't covered by the 457 visa held by her husband, telling her as she was no longer part of the family unit, she had to go even though she had nothing to go back to. And to have to get on that plane and leave Australia and to leave my children behind, was it was like taking away my oxygen. If you can't see your kids, you can't breathe. A friend paid for penniless Penny to return to Adelaide, but she's only here on a three-month tourist visa, much to the disappointment of her boys, Kip and Tristan. We need her. She needs us as much as we need her, and this is her home now, you know? England, there's nothing there for her anymore, and everything that she has is here. This is her home, this is where she wants to be, and I think this is where immigration should allow her to be. Everybody needs their mum. Their mum's a very important part of their life, and without their mum, everything just falls. I cried for a month uh, after the, the shock of it all, and it just felt like, you know, the, the end of the world to me. Taxation specialist Carolyn Van Hecke is another UK migrant whose life was turned inside out, down under, after being made redundant by accountancy company KPMG less than a year into a two-year contract. To get someone to move to the other side of the world and uh, to sponsor them um, and just then to suddenly change their mind, it's, it's totally despicable. As Carolyn couldn't find a new sponsor, she and her family have had to sell up here and reluctantly return to the UK, bitter at the way they've been treated and $50,000 out of pocket. Even though it's been an awful time since um, December, I've, I just I feel so content here and I, it just feels like home to me. Dramas with visas come at a time when the South Australian government is again pushing hard in the UK to entice more migrants. You see programmes like Wanted Down Under and it's, it glamorises it all. And um, I, I think certain visas, particularly the uh, 457 uh, business sponsored visa, you, if I could revisit the whole situation, I'd, you know, I would have checked into that much more and, you know, made absolutely certain that, you know, it was m more secure. The worst part is there's nothing I can do about it. There is absolutely, there is no visa invented for my situation. They've cancelled the visa and thus doing that have denied her access to her own children because they have not cancelled the children's visas. Migration agent Dick Glasbrook says there could be some other visa options for Penny Fisher. That is, if she could ever afford to pay for them. I would imagine that she would be applying for um, custody of the children um, or trying to see whether the children's visas can be changed to a student visa, uh, in which case she could then apply for a custody, uh, for a, um, a guardianship visa. Immigration and citizenship spokesman Sian Manton told us they were sympathetic and had discussed various options with Penny, would have looked at allowing her to remain had she raised any custody issues, but she chose to return when no visa options were possible. But they're willing to discuss options for her to remain should family court action begin. I would like immigration to put something else in place so that this can't happen to another family. It's destroying people. Penny Fisher remains lost and bewildered. My time with the children is very, very precious because I just don't have enough of it. 
What a terrible situation. Let's hope common sense does prevail. Now, if you are feeling stressed or depressed at work, you're certainly not...